Velma Land continues. Now, what makes it an interesting visit for you, sir? The food. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, not, not just the food, of course. It's the level of professionalism here, the level of world-class, world-beating designers that we come to see, and, and the perfectionism of the things that they manufacture is quite extraordinary. I mean, fabrics also are a big point, aren't well, they? Well, fabrics increasingly have become more and more important. Someone who's really pioneered quite sort of technical fabrics is Prada. What did you make of the show? The show was very, very exciting, and uh, Mutual Prada herself said she's looking for a new way of showing decoration. So she actually used strips of film on top of her felted wool, which was uh, a very dramatic effect. Another strong female personality who, who makes a big deal of fabric is Jill Sander. Did she have a good show? She had a very good show, yes. Very good, very clean, very simple, but she's extremely influential at the moment. You don't just do the shows, you do go back and check out the gear. Mm. So with Dolce & Gabbana, you were feeling everything, yes. weren't you? Yes, well they did this extraordinary silver fabric and we were all saying, what, what's that, what's that, you know. And they've actually laminated some kind of, some kind of woven fabric and it's, it, it looks like it looks like sheer mercury. It's quite fantastic. Someone who, who bought out this fabric play again using almost sort of signature textiles was Donatella Versace. She's been incredible the way she's, she's kept everything together and she's had no possible time for mourning. Lots of sort of monastic Guinevere, King Arthur references which was, which was quite interesting. Somebody I was particularly excited about was Alessandra Delacqua who did a really beautiful collection of the most gorgeous ice cream colour the sport max was someone who kind of delivered for you some of the things they were doing with cord and lining denim jackets with sheepskin and just nice quirky touches we really really enjoyed it a strong week then and our last show was giorgio armani which took place yesterday it was an extremely strong fantastic show he underlined all the main themes that we've been seeing long languid lean fantastic mohair use of mohair in, in trousers and as usual, his beadwork at the end was quite sublime. And no doubt, lots of Oscar winners are going to be wearing his dresses. The world is about, there's something evolving. It's the fine details that give any garment the look of luxury and finesse, and this season designers contrasted basic shapes with delicate embellishment of edges and hems. But to me it seems quite clear that it's all just a little bit of history repeating. In Milan, the silhouette is long and loose, with emphasis on comfort and informal mood. Some utilise the classic drop waist of the 20s to exaggerate the visual effect, but all settled for a thoroughly modern finish. After a thorough drenching of dreary greys, many designers saw the light, and with pure white and cool cream, there was plenty to the theme of pale and interesting. Continuing a theme started last season, designers doubled up. The result is serenely sensual as layers of net, gauze and chiffon soften the lines of the body. A Daniel Swarovski collection in Paris. The, the fruit was forbidden that made him crave it so. No sorrow, no remorse, lost in savage darkness, battling for his soul. Still, he hungered to be mortal, and to feel what mortals feel. And so he roamed through time, watched, waited. I married you because my father promised my hand to you because he was in debt to you. I have your payment. Until one night, he spotted a bride and groom leaving their wedding party. She 
she was kissed and did not die. Maybe she was immortal, part god like himself, he reasoned. 